Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. Today we are in the 13th episode of the series and we have Rahul here with us who has been recently placed at Latent View as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. Now let's go ahead and talk to him. Before that let's look at the eligibility criteria. All students from CSC uh, all specializations for eligible provided they had a CGPA of 7 in 10th 12th as well as in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Rakul. Okay. Hi Rakul, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So Thank you. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. Uh, hello guys uh, i am rahul bharatwaj uh, i am a final year student from csc with specialization in a and ml uh, to be short uh, i am a machine learning enthusiast i have been practicing machine learning since my second semester okay uh, so my life entirely revolves around machine learning so yeah that's it about me okay that's that's great thank you for your, uh, for that you can now like tell us about the hiring process like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of okay so uh, basically the hiring process of late and view was very nice uh, the first step was uh, the online test as usual uh, i guess the criteria was 6 uh, cgpa okay uh, and they didn't have uh, they did not filter anyone uh, they just gave everyone a chance to attend the test okay. uh, the test majorly consisted of it was one of the longest exams i have given okay. uh, uh, basically it had nearly 200 questions mm. uh, about 150 of them were psychometric assessment okay. uh, that was a little bit different from others mm. uh, apart from psychometric assessment you had uh, we had about uh, three to four sections of aptitude okay uh, aptitude uh, questions were uh, uh, easy to moderate mm-hmm. uh, the questions were from uh, numerical reasoning uh, cognitive ability and a few questions were from uh, verbal ability as well okay. uh, so yeah that's uh, if if we are good at aptitude we will be uh, able to clear that uh, completely okay. uh, then we had one coding question mm-hmm. uh, i would say it was a easy to medium range problem okay Uh, and after that uh, we had two to three sections of technical mcqs hmm. uh, the technical mcqs mostly revolved around sql sas python and r okay. uh, there were also a separate section where uh, they asked you about uh, excel formula okay. uh, so that is pretty much about the online test hmm. so you, you don't need to have any sort of uh, experience with machine learning and ai to clear that particular test okay uh, You, you basically need to know about python or a little bit of uh, excel and sas would uh, e- easily get you through this hmm. uh, so the short list was about uh, 400 and uh, our interviews happened in mellow campus okay so for bhopal and amaravati campus it was virtual hmm. uh, so Ch- for chennai campus we need to go to mellow hmm. so the first round of uh, interview was the group discussion okay so i would say this is the most difficult part to clear hmm. uh, because each panel had about 10 people hmm. uh, and only 3 to 4 of them were shortlisted for the next round okay so you have to be very careful about uh, how you speak in group discussion hmm. Hmm. Uh, it, it is essential to uh, say your points out loud hmm. at the same time you should not come out too strong right. or too opposing so they, they they look for etiquettes like that hmm. uh, the topic i particularly got was loss of employment due to digitization okay so it was a pleasant discussion after 20 30 minutes uh, we were sh- i was shortlisted for the next round hmm. so after group discussion uh, who are got shortlisted needs to go through three rounds okay. each one of them are eliminatory two of them were technical round and hmm. one of them was a hr round okay so uh, basically for me in technical round one uh, most of the questions were uh, uh, related to resume discussion okay. uh, uh, my interviewer just looked at my resume and he know that i am really good at ml hmm. so he asked me questions about my project uh, so 
basically he asked me to uh, draw a, a visual representation mm-hmm. of the flow of one of my projects mm-hmm. so i explained it to him and he really liked it mm-hmm. uh, uh, but uh, it it might not uh, be the case always uh, some of my friends got questions like uh, they gave uh, say a small coding question and asked you to write a code on the paper mm-hmm. so few of them got questions like that okay. uh, few of them got asked questions on sqls and concepts like uh, uh, how to manage databases uh, mm. uh, like uh, uh, normalization of the database and right. so on so right. there were questions from that uh, it uh, basically depends on the interviewer mm. so I, I i would say my interviewer really liked me um, so i just moved, moved on to the second round mm-hmm. uh, and to my surprise the second round was just 5 minutes first round the discussion went up to 40 45 minutes okay okay uh, the second round was just 5 minutes i went in there uh, there was a, uh, another interviewer who just asked me three questions mm-hmm. he asked me uh, what uh, you would do when there is no data available uh, for a particular mm-hmm. project mm-hmm. so uh, my answer was i would first collect the data uh, and then he asked me uh, do you know who does the data data collection and these process mm-hmm. i told him a data that is basically a task of a data engineer mm-hmm. uh, and, and and then uh, his final question was uh, do you want to be a data engineer or a full stack data scientist okay. and then he explained me what a full stack data scientist is mm-hmm. uh, basically he told uh, full stack data scientist is someone who does the work of data engineer as well as data scientist mm-hmm. so i said i want to be a full stack data scientist and then he said you, you can leave so it was uh, just three questions and uh i was really unsure of whether i would be get good mm. <laughs> next round or not yeah uh, uh i was there fortunately i got uh, selected for a hr interview mm. uh, so hr uh, questions are uh, like uh, a very common uh, like what are your interest uh, what games do you play or what, what what why do you want to join late and you mm-hmm. questions like that mm. so yeah that, that is the uh, entire interview process okay uh, after one or like uh, the interviews went on till 7 7:30 in the evening mm. so we got the results the next day by 12 12 pm so okay. yeah that's uh, basically the process the mm. later new team was uh, really friendly to us mm. uh, they are one of the uh, best recruiters i have seen in the campus okay 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 that's really great thank you for sharing your experience and congratulations once again thank you and do you have anything to share for your juniors or for anybody who wants to get into crypto dream based on what you learned through your journey okay so uh, my journey with placements was, was not smooth mm-hmm. uh, i am a nine pointer okay. but uh, the strength uh, in our batch is very high mm-hmm. so about 70% of the super dream companies that came earlier mm-hmm. didn't even shortlist me for the test right so one thing i would say is uh you should not get uh, uh say uh, disheartened by mm, this mm. you should be focused because you don't know when a suitable opportunity for you will come right. so one more thing i would like to say is uh, whatever the technical skills you have you have to emotionally connect with the interviewer mm, when mm. you are in an interview right. so uh, when you connect to the uh, when you connect with your interview on an emotional mm. level mm. uh there is a very high chance of you getting selected then mm. uh, just purely based on your technical skills mm. uh, and i i think i did that uh, really well with late and you okay uh, um, oh, one more thing that uh, really got me this offer uh, because they, they provided offer in two categories uh, one with 6.5 lpa ctc and one with 8.5 mm. uh, and i i got that 8.5 so i guess it, mostly because the question that uh, the hr asked uh, so they asked me uh, like uh, asked me to tell some kind of uh, uh, vulnerable moment and so uh, i just told them uh, just two days before late interview i ha- had an interview with hbe mm. uh, but the questions were from devops mm. so uh, i was not able to answer it because i don't know devops mm. so i didn't get selected uh, for hbe Mm-hmm. so uh, i basically told them uh, the manager gave me a comment like you are not extraordinary you are just a normal uh, student mm-hmm. so that, like my answer to them was uh, you can be only extraordinary if you do what you like mm-hmm. so my advice to my juniors is to uh, 
like uh, select opportunities that you like mm. uh, just uh, because cpc is higher uh, going for a particular job will not make you happy mm. so just pick what you like and do you, you will shine in that particular thing yeah. Okay, thank you so much for sharing your experience and for sharing your suggestions. I'm sure it will be helpful for many. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. A lot of videos coming your way in the next few days.